What's going on guys? This is Parker with Backyard Barn Finds. We're here in Pennsylvania, just at, down the road from my hometown at my buddy Ryan's house, and uh, he has a special treat for us today. This is a 19,000 mile, 1977 Pontiac Trans Am. And what we'll do is we'll go over this car completely. We'll go over how you can tell what kind of Trans Am, yeah, there was different kinds, and how you can tell that at home. This car was sold on July 14th, 1977, and that was actually after the movie Smokey and the Bandit, which came out on May 27th, 1977. Now Pontiac didn't actually make a Bandit Trans Am. The one that you saw in the movie was a 1976, and they were outfitted with 77 noses from General Motors. They actually made four cars, uh, three of them have crashed, and there's still one in existence. So when you went to your Pontiac dealer in 1977, you could actually order, I think there was four different types. There was the Firebird, there was the Esprit, the Formula, and then there was the Trans Am. And then also on top of the Trans Am, there was the Trans Am Special Edition. And what we'll do is talk about how you can tell the difference between a regular Trans Am and a Trans Am SE. So the first thing that we gotta take a look at is the VIN number. If you come in here, we can see here, that the first number is actually a two, and that stands for Pontiac, the division of General Motors. The next one is a number or letter, and that's W, and that's actually the series that the car was, whether it was an Esprit, a Formula, or a Trans Am. And W stands for Trans Am, which this car is. The next one would be 87, which stands for two-door hardtop. The next one is the letter Z for a 400. They made, two di they made two different 400s, both of them had the letter Z. The next number is actually the number seven for the year the car is. The N is for the plant that it was built in, and the rest are just the series number for the car. Now, Pontiac actually, in the Trans Am specifically, had three different engine types. Two engine types in 49 states, one engine type in California. If you lived in California, you got the Olds 403 motor, but if you got the Trans Am in the rest of the United States, you could either have the L78 400, or you can have the W72400 from the factory. Now that you guys can see the whole car, there's actually some more things that are special about this one. If you can come around this way, the first thing is that this car is a four speed, okay, which is pretty rare in of itself. The second thing is that it has a two tone interior, red with the white seats. This car was actually custom ordered special. Uh, the original person that ordered the car never picked it up. Uh, Tom Fisher actually bought another Trans Am and then threw this one out on the lot. Uh, we do know that it was custom special ordered uh, because if you take a look again at the, uh, the sales invoice at the bottom, it does say that the seats were ordered specially with the code 11N. So I'll get the, get the sales invoice out here again and um, we can take a look at right here we can see that the, the Firethorn appointments all right here at the top that would be the red in, inside the car and if we come down to right here it says custom trim group consists of custom vinyl bucket seats custom vinyl rear seats door handle ornamentation um, custom pedal trim and then custom interior appointments now we can also confirm which colors those were uh, we have this nifty little print out here and if we go to the interior colors, you know, these were the Firebird custom interiors, and we go to the, the white, uh, we see that we have the 11N. Um, so now that we have that information, uh, we can go back to the cow tag on this car, which is important. And we can see here that in the very first section, um, this is where your seat colors would be. This is where it says 11N for the seat color. Um, if we come over here, we can see where it says the 19L for the lower, which was the starlight black paint for the lower of the car, and then the 19U for the upper. And then our final part here is the FIR, which stands for the Firethorn Red, and this is the secondary interior um, section on the cow tag. Um, and that's how we have two different colors in this car. We have white seats for 11N, and red gut for FIR Firethorn Red. So now that we've gone over the Caltag data and the VIN number for this car, uh, we'll go over how to tell whether it's a regular Trans Am or whether it's a Trans Am Special Edition. 
And the one quick way that we can tell is that this is a regular Trans Am is that the inside of the bird, do you see how the actual inside of the wings are like a yellowish or an orange? If it was a SE car, it would those, those would actually be matte. In other words, they wouldn't have a little bit of the shine to them that this one does. Also, the hood scoops on these cars came with two different, two different letterings on the side. Uh, this one says TA 6.6, .6, and there was also, um, it said 6.6 .6 liter with the liter spelled out. Now, there's a little bit of a confusion on which stickers came with which car, and the, the way that you can tell is by looking at the motor. If we take a look at this motor, we can see that it, it does have actually chrome valve covers which confirms that this car is a W72 motor. It also has the WA stamp down here, which you're probably not going to be able to see on camera, um, but that does confirm that it has the higher horsepower, 200 uh, horsepower motor inside, which would have came equipped with the TA 6.6 .6 liter in 1977. If it was just the L78 6.6 .6 liter, which only had 180 horsepower, um, it would just say the 6.6 .6 liter. And that is how you tell the difference between the hood scoops on a 1977 Trans Am. Now, in 77, Pontiac thought that the hood scoop didn't protrude far enough out of the hood, so they actually they made two versions. There's a shorter one and a taller one as well. Okay, so now that we're at the front of the car, we can go over how we can tell a special edition Trans Am from a non-special edition Trans Am, and we'll just kind of go around the outside of the car. So on a special edition Trans Am, these inside grills um, would actually be painted gold, as well as this emblem right here would be gold from the factory. We can also tell that it's a 77 Trans Am because it does have the honeycomb style grill. Um, that changed in 1978. Uh, the graphics here would be different, the lettering would be different, but we'll get to that on the back so you can see it a little bit better. Um, the Special Edition Trans Ams, they did come with snowflake gold wheels, um, but they weren't specific to the actual SE Trans Am. You could get the gold snowflake wheels, which these are not by the way. Um, you could get those on any Trans Am, um, they just could be ordered as an option. Um, they actually had red uh, red birds in the cap in the beginning of the year, but they were switched over to gold by the end. So depending when your car was built, um, it would either have red centers or gold centers if you have a special edition Trans Am. Now, they made, they made two different types of special edition Trans Ams. They made, in 77, they made a Y82, and they also made a Y81. And the way you would tell is you would tell by the Caltag here. Uh, this one does not have it because it's not a special edition. Um, but if your car said Y82, it would actually have the Hearst T-tops in it. They were made by Hearst, the same people that made shift knobs. And if it was a Y81, it would be just a hard top car like this. Also, if it was a special edition Trans Am, you would have the six inch decal on the side, the gold decal, instead of the three inch bird like this one has. Uh, the Trans Am special editions also came with um, the uh, exhaust extensions uh, like this one has. And most importantly on the back here, you can see a little bit better, the script is different. For the SE cars, it was a German style Gothic script. Um, and for the regular Trans Ams like this one, it was just kind of like a block text. And that's a pretty quick way when you see one going down the street. As well as if it was a special edition, it would have all of the gold trim and accents on it. There would be gold pinstripes that go the whole way down this car. Um, it would also have had a gold steering wheel. We take a look here, this one's actually black. And lastly, if it was a special edition car, it would actually have a, uh, a gold brush um, dash plate here. So I hope that by listening to this video, uh, when you go to your next car show or when you go to your next, uh, anywhere that you find cars, or maybe you see one of these just kind of going down the street, um, that you'll at home be able to tell what kind of Trans Am you're looking at, whether it's a special edition car or just a regular Trans Am, whether it's a Firebird, a Spree. Um, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any comments, comment below. Again, my name is Parker with Backyard Barn Finds, and have a great day.